Hello and welcome to Fashion Report Friday, here with me, Mioni, for Final Fantasy XIV. This is the weekly series looking at how to get the most out of the Fashion Report minigame located inside the Gold Saucer. A link to the Reddit thread where much of this is discovered by the community every week is in the description. This is week 60 and this week's theme is Monk of Intrigue. The clues include Outlaw for Chest, groin pains for legs, on ceremony for boots, and jewels of blue for bracelet. This then is what I did to get 100 score, along with some alternatives. For the chest, I went with the Gazelle Skin Corselet of Striking. You can use the Gazelle Skin Corselet of Maiming and Scouting as well, and indeed the Twin Silk Coat of Casting, which will all get you gold rating for this slot. All of these can be purchased from the Merchant and Mender NPC located inside the Locks Zone, or of course you can craft them with Weaver or indeed Leather Worker respectively. For the legs, I went with the Taffeta Loincloth. This in particular is a weaving craft. Alternatives to this include the Light Steel Subligar, which is an armorer craft, Bunny Tights and Chief Bunny Tights both work from the Gold Saucer, the Coliseum Loincloth and Coliseum Subligar also work, and it's probably best to avoid using the bunny tights unless you already have them, as they both cost upwards of 30k MGP, and we're here to actually make MGP, not exactly spend it. For the boots, I went with the True Griffin Calige of Striking. Of course, the True Griffin Healing, Casting, Striking and Scouting boots will all work, and the Demon boots from the World of Darkness for Healers, Striking and Casting will also work for Gold Rating. Lastly, the bracelet. I went with the Lapis Lazuli bracelet, which we can get from any low-level city-state jewellery vendor, or craft it with basic goldsmithing. Alternatives to this that work include the Aquamarine bracelet, the Turquoise bracelet, the Wolf Turquoise bracelet, the Sapphire bracelet, the Platinum Bangles of Casting, and the Allegan bracelets of healing. These have all been confirmed so far in that Reddit thread by the community. So now let's look at an 80 score with just diable gear in the game. This can be any gear in particular, as long as it is diable. You'll need to dye your weapons soot black. Your helm needs to be dyed gobby bag brown. Your chest and arms soot black. Your leg slot pure white and your feet soot black. This will get you 80 score and it's worth trying without the pure white dye on the legs first as pretty much any bracelet in the game seems to give points towards this so you might not need it and it could save you gill. So try that before you actually apply the pure white dye. Alternatively, if you want the easiest possible 80 score in the game, use any of the bracelets I've showed before, such as the Lapis Lazuli bracelet from the low level jewellery vendor, and dye your hat any brown dye in the game, so Opu Opu Brown or anything you want, and your chest soot black. Those two dyes in the bracelet alone will actually get you 80 score guaranteed, and will cost you practically nothing apart from the vendor cost, which is pretty damn cool. Either way, thank you kindly for watching this week's fashion report. If you have your own solutions, feel free to pop them in the comment section below to help others who might be watching, and I'll see you all next time.